M0FXP, welcome to my channel. Still looking into the Yesu FTM 200, the new uh, single receive FTM 300 looking radio. Um, and we've already described it in a previous video. Uh, you haven't got four buttons in the corner, you've got two here, one there, one there, and then instead you've got push buttons here. So knobs, buttons in the 300, you've got four push turning knobs, and it's dual receive. <clears throat> so, what I was thinking was, what about the size? I thought the size would be um, of the case. I mean, have they made a smaller radio? So, really, this video was about the size. If you look here at the dimensions of the 200, you've got the size 5.4716652. So, that's the back. And that, that's the um, sort of case. The, the back has like a slideable, retractable type bracket on it. And the, the front head can be removed. Now... Look at the dimensions of the FTM 300. So this is the 300. And look at the dimensions. It's 1.66, 52, 139 by 32, 5.7, 207. So it's ex it is exactly the same rear housing as the FTM uh, 300 and 200. So they're the same. So that's fine. I get that. You know, makes sense to you to use the same case for manufacturing, and it's a good quality case. Very happy with it. Um, so then I started really thinking about it. When I initially saw the radio, it made me think of the FTM 300 straight away because I look at the FTM 300 and I look at the FT 200, and because it's the same interface that you're getting on the FT 5, uh, you know, and even the FT3D, really, very similar. I know it's not identical. They've made, they've added new functions. Really, the guts of it is the same. The screen's the same, two-inch screen. So then I started thinking, well, what, you know, although it looks just like the FT300, it actually is more like the FT100. So why? Because the FT100 was a dual-band C4FM radio, with the pos with, and you're able to use wires X PDM mode with a SCU, I think, 20 cable on that one, and on the... Yeah, on the 300 it was the SCU 20, and I think they brought out the new SCU 40 kit. So to me, this is replacing the FTM 100 DR. That's what I think is happening here, and and, and what a nice replacement. I, I I think you know I think it's a very nice radio. I do. I, there's nothing about it I don't like. I think yeah, it's really good. Um, if you've already got an FTM. 300 then you definitely don't need an FTM 200 um, But they both work well. I, the reason I the, the thing about the FTM 300 styling. It's it's a bit unusual It's I'm not really sure how to describe it. It's just Although it works well and functions well and enjoy using it and all the buttons and knobs um, It just got a funny sort of look to it where the 200 to me is a much more traditional radio style look uh, and I think it's a more improved look, but it is single receive. Uh, but saying that, even the FT300, which is dual band, dual receive, on C4FM, you only ever hear one at a time, unlike the Icon 52, where you can hear both at a time. So there you are, have a look at the dimensions. To me, the dimensions of the, of the case are exactly the same, which means the head dimensions are going to be virtually the same. But overall, you know, come on, Yesu are bringing out some good equipment here and they're, they're bringing it out at very good prices. I wish that Icon would just lower their prices just a bit, you know, like £1,350 for a 705. It's just a lot of money, isn't it? Or £520 for an Icon 52. It's, you know, I know it's a hell of a radio, but um, lower that price a bit, please. So anyway, 7-3, thanks Yesu for bringing out some good equipment and looking forward to John Crook's video or stream later to really get some inside info on this radio. 7-3, all the best.